Hey everybody, welcome to the car. <laughs> We're on a road Hi. trip. We're about to go through ETC. This is the toll gate here. And today we're going to Fuji Yoshida, which is about a uh, hour and a 40 minute drive from Tokyo. We kind of couldn't wait, so we actually stopped off at a service area. <laughs> but we got, they don't know. What are you eating? Yakisoba pan. Yakisoba. It's kuro, kuro yakisoba pan. It's black yakisoba bread. Only in Japan would they put noodles in bread and call it a sandwich. <laughs> this tastes okay. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. That was, um, you know, the bakery that we just stopped off at. And again, like if, if we can make it through 30 minutes of this, the next rest uh, service area, I'll try to stop off on the highway and take you inside there just to take a look. But, uh, um, I, I was hoping that we would have really blue skies. It looks like there are blue skies, but I can't see Mount Fuji yet. What do you think? Can you see it? Can't see it yet. So I'm not sure if we're going to get a view of Mount Fuji, but it's neat. It's neat to be able to drive out, out of Tokyo and do a day trip like this. Yesterday, last night, I did a live stream about spring travel in, in Japan. Um, not just Tokyo, but Kyoto and Tohoku and other, other areas. And one of the things that I wanted to promote here is if you're going to the countryside, you probably want to rent a car. So that's what we've done today to take a, a day trip. And Kanai out in the countryside will get a chance to practice her driving because you can't do that in Tokyo. <laughs> you got to get outside of the city yeah. to, to practice the driving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm this, a beginner. Yeah, you're a beginner. So she forgot the stickers that you have to put on the car. So we have to find yeah. that in... Yeah, uh, Fuji Yoshida in order to uh, start to for her to, to drive you want to do that live streaming no no it's it's <laughs> it's dangerous kind of dangerous <laughs> yeah a little bit dangerous um, we'll probably be it I get a navigation system here and it tells me we'll be in uh, uh, Fuji Yoshida at 12 o'clock so it's gonna be a little bit a little bit under an hour to get there yeah and uh, between there and here, there's another service area. So I'm, I'm not sure where it is, but I think it's about 20, 20 25 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And Japanese service areas are pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff that you can do there, and it's usually pretty high tech as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, check this out. This is like a, a little mountain town. So this is, this is, um, what would you call it? Is this Yamanashi? Mo Yamanashi de show. Yamanashi Prefecture. Uh, yeah. Or is it no, still Tokyo? It's still Tokyo. It's Hachijoji. Oh, this is Hachijoji, yeah. yeah. It's countryside Ma of Tokyo. Countryside, but you know what? Mount Fuji should be in view, you would think. I don't see Mount Fuji anywhere. But we do have blue skies. In Tokyo, when we left, it was, it was um, cloudy. Looked like it was gonna rain, and then we got outside of the city, and boom, the blue sky started popping up. Getting out of Tokyo was kind of painful. It always sort of is. Any major city, like New York or, or London, I'm sure. Tokyo, there was a lot of traffic and congestion and an, and an accident near Shinjuku. So, yeah, that took us about 30 minutes longer than expected to get out of the city. The great thing about renting a car, though, is that you just put everything in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like we got bags, suitcases, chairs. I brought my gas camper burner so we could uh, stop off at Lake Kawa Kawaguchiko Lake, uh, Lake Kawaguchi, and maybe make some coffee uh, sitting outside. Be a lot of fun. Um, that's sort of what a getaway is supposed to be like. So probably, even though it's blue skies, it probably seems it probably we're not going to see Mount Fuji at all. Yeah. Kanai, why did you want to come here to Fuji Yoshida? Because I haven't been there. No, we went there in 2013. But it's not Fuji Yoshida, right? It's Kawaguchiko, but it's next to Fuji Yoshida, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, I, we, we 
wanted to see Mount Fuji. <laughs> yeah, Mount Fuji. And uh, we, yeah, we wanted to go to um, countryside. Yeah, it's nice here because to see nice view. Yeah. In two point zero kilometers. Tana, can you read that yellow one there? Uh, a snack for your road trip. Who is that, Fang? Friend. Oh, hey. Hey. How Thank you doing? You. <laughs> it's hard for me to read the super chats. I will go back and take a look at it when we stop at the service area. I really do appreciate it. The, um, yeah, you can read it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to focus on the road. But luckily, I got a navigator. The navigator's job is to read read the read the questions going on here. So it's kind of neat. We, we've we've uh, come into like a In point wooded area. Keep straight. Now the navigation system on these rented cars from Toyota, they're bilingual. In fact, I think they also do Chinese and a couple of other languages. So that makes it kind of useful if you're thinking about renting a car. You know that the navigation system is not going to be just in Japanese. Keep straight. Thank you. Atsugi. Oh, and there's Kofu. Kawaguchiko straight. Okay. So we're headed towards here. Now, I don't know what the view is going to be like when we get closer. I used to live in a city called uh, Fujinomiya, which is on the other side. And actually, we're going to be going... I'll uh, just go straight. Yeah. yeah go straight. If you go there or take the wrong turn, it's I'm game over. For more than five kilometers. Yeah. If, I used to live in a city called Fujinomiya, and even though I was on the base of Mount Fuji, and it was really, really big outside my window, there were days where I couldn't see it, and it was blue sky. Just the haze of it makes the the mountain disappear within the blue sky. It was the most surreal thing, living just right on the base of it. Uh, but on this trip, we're going to drive around Mount Fuji today. Now, we can't do that in this live stream all the way around the mountain, but it's about, oh, this is kind of cool. It's about uh, four hours and 30 minutes to drive around. Oh, yeah, you can check it out. Can I? Uh, hello from Indiana, USA. Hachijoji is my hometown. Oh, who's it from? Oh, hello, 88. All right. Thank you. Indiana. Indiana, cool. Yeah, the drive is going to take us about four hours and 45 minutes in driving time to go from Tokyo and all the way around Mount Fuji. And that's going to be pretty exciting to do. I've, I've never driven around Mount Fuji. I've taken the train. It took like 12 hours because there aren't a lot of trains and they're all local, super local trains. So it takes forever. That's why car is the best way. Drive along the road now, for more than five kilometers. What's that forest that we're not going to go through, Kanai? Yeah, the forest, the Mori. You said we can't go there. Yeah. What's it called? A Ao forest? Aoki? No. Aokigahara? Aokigahara. Uh, Can I said we're not allowed to drive through there. Yes, we don't need to go there. We don't need to, but it would be actually, can I, like 30 minutes faster to cut through the woods? <laughs> we don't have to stop. There's no traffic lights. She doesn't even want to go through there. She said when we were gonna uh, making the, the the trip plan that there's ghosts in there. Yeah, it's not nice to visit. It's not safe. I'm not gonna visit. I just want to drive through there. No. 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 <laughs> no. Sorry, we're not gonna be driving through the forest. Oh, tunnel. Tunnel. We might lose the signal. Hold your breath, everybody. We're going through a tunnel. Oh, we have a signal, though. Not for long. See you on the other side, maybe. So it's still working. Really? Yeah. Speed limit is about 80 kilometers per hour, I think. So <laughs> focus on not getting a ticket. There's a lot of tunnels in this area of um, Yamanashi, so we're going to be going through a bunch of them. Yes. I see the light on the ah, other side. I think it's 
Kanagawa. Oh, this is Kanagawa. After the tunnel. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're on the highway driving from Tokyo to Yo uh, Fuji Yoshida. So Sagamiko. You'll be able to find Sagamiko. Uh, Sawa Sawa Sagamiko. Sawa Sagamiko. Somebody right. Oh, thanks for the daimyo package, Kanai and Jun. Hey! Who is it from? Shen. Ah, Shay, hey! Hey! And thank you yesterday, Shane. For sh thank you for yesterday, Shane. <laughs> I appreciate it. That was a pretty good uh, Q&A that we had. Oh, look at the scenery keeps changing. There's a lot of benefits to renting a car. Just the freedom to just go wherever you want to go. Now this is probably going to cost. So the car itself, for you can rent the the rent a car for three hours, six hours, twelve hours, or twenty four hours. Um, for, it's about maybe twenty percent cheaper to rent it for twelve hours instead of twenty four hours. So it almost pays for itself if you're going to be doing a lot of traveling. If you're just going to do a day trip, if you're just going to be doing a day trip, then you know twelve hours is fine, and that's Hello. what we rented it for. Hello, John and can I? Yamanashi, I went to hike, hike the, uh, what is this, Sha, Sho, Sho Sen Kyo, Sho Sen Kyo Gorge. In, oh yeah, the gorge. In it's gorgeous. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Look at this. Look at the uh, over there on the left side. It looks really mysterious. I don't know if you could pick it up, but we're now swooping down into the valley. This is uh, Sagamiko is in two kilometers. Mm. And then after Sagamiko, I believe there's a service area we can take a stop at. But it really looks on the left side there. because I think that's where Mount Fuji is. It looks really mysterious. The clouds just trapped around the mountain. It's mountain view. I mean, volcano. Hey, John. You are driving on the wrong side. Just kidding. How <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nathan. <laughs> yes? I kind of am, you know. It took me... It took me a while before I could get used to just mentally driving on the left side of the road. Because in America, we drive on the right side. So it, after a while, I, you know, just the way people... Either take out the sandwich or you want to show because the plastic no. auto. Oh, okay, I can show it. Yeah, we have some food in here we can show you in a second. It's kind of neat the curve around the mountains. 2.0 kilometers. Take the exit to the left. Oh, we're, we're getting off here. Show them what we got yeah, here. Okay, I'm gonna show this. Uh, you can take it out. Okay. We got sandwiches. We got sandwiches. The bakery just looks so good. It, yeah. it looked really good. They say it's big, big cut burger. It's big cut sandwich. Big katsu sandwich. <laughs> Big it's cuts. a piece of breaded pork cutlet just drenched in uh, sauce, like a tangy, uh, almost kind of like a Worcestershire yeah. soy-based sauce. Oh, I can smell it. I gotta. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to get off the highway. Okay. I want to go to that service area. All right, follow the navigation. Don't argue with the navigator. Oh, we gonna get off? Yeah, it said to get off.
810 yen, that's like $8 for this? Okay, hold on. I'm getting off. Back. ETC. ETC. The ETC rental was 300 yen from uh, the rent a car place. He said, he said 1400 yen. Mm. The navigation system's like Turn left. from another era. All right, take a left here. What else did you get here, Kanai? I got the melon pan. They put Turn whipped left. cream inside. Oh, it's too bright. That's oh, really bright. Oh, it's too bright. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's melon pan. Yeah. They put in whipped cream inside. It looks so good. It does. It smells so good. I tried it a bit. Yeah. Mmm. Was it good? Mmm. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Mm. In 700 meters, turn right. Oh, that's really good. Mm. waiting to go on a road trip get some snacks. Elani? How can I read it? Elani Stanley. Thank you. Well, this is kind of scary here. <laughs> this is crazy. Did I go the right way? I don't know why I got off of the highway. Yeah, please focus on drive. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the uh, navigation system isn't right. Just go with the flow. That means we're going into this valley here. In 7.0 kilometers, due to electrical oh, work, alternating see? traffic. Oh. Turn right at the next traffic signal. You got it. For the toll. <laughs> we did not get a super chat for the toll. But, Look at that car! But how about some cup, couple karaoke? After, after oh, karaoke. After oh, <laughs> it's shaking. Turn left. After lunch, guys, maybe we do. <laughs> Look at this little town that we're going through. This is called Uehara. Mm. I wonder why we got off the highway. Sometimes the mm. navigator navigator tells us to. to Go a different way. Yeah. yeah, we're putting that away. It's kind of neat, though. I, I do like getting out of the city and, and checking out oh, it's the beautiful. countryside. Yeah, it's relaxing. Population like 3,000. 700 meters, turn left. All right. So speed limit here is 40 kilometers an hour. I'm doing. 49. Yeah, 49. Better slow down a little bit. Okay. It's Yamanashi. Oh, this is Yamanashi Prefecture? Yep. Cool. All right. It says, it's telling me to go straight here. Oh, this is 7 Eleven. So, you know, getting off the highway is sometimes a good thing because. There's accidents and stuff, and we saw a lot of congestion and traffic. Um, but I'm not sure why we had to get off the highway, because we wanted to get there faster. Oh, look, there's a guy telling us to stop with a, with a samurai stick. Is it samurai stick? I don't know, he looks like a, like a highway samurai. The next traffic signal. Left. All right, so we got that little construction there. At the Ide Mitsu gas station, take a left. That's what we're gonna do right here. Mm. Can't do it here. Yeah. So we're taking a left here. 
I can't see the. Still got some time. Oh, that's from uh, that's right. Nazlik0530. Thanks for taking us along for the ride. This should cover some of the toll. Ed and Naz Naz Dallas. Naz yeah, from Dallas, Texas. Texas. How cool is that? Thanks, guys. Oh. It absolutely does. All right. I just hope we're going on the road. You know, these navigation systems, I usually will do... Drive along the road for more than five kilometers. In, in tandem, I would do the Google Maps and this, and then sometimes they would conflict one another. They'd fight. And I don't know who to go to. I, I usually go with Google, though, because they, they're more up-to-date. But it's hard to, to fight with the navigation system on the car because it's so loud. The speakers are better. <laughs> it's like automatically you go with whoever's loudest so if you're gonna be a backseat driver is this a train track uh, no stop. yeah it's not stop I think it's just slow down it's hard to tell you have to stop for three seconds at train tracks sometimes the cops will be there waiting for you to uh, not stop uh -huh. and ticket you oh uh, if you don't stop you're gonna get ticket yeah but you know it's <laughs> these it's these roads here can I it's these roads that you drive where you will find like really amazing ramen places and lunch places and places mm, with views. Right. Yeah. That's that's why you have to get off of the highway. It's like when you get onto the countryside, you start to find some of these amazing um, places. Look at that a deer sign. Yeah, deer. Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. There's a lot of crews here. Sorry guys, the signal's going in and out, but we're gonna stay with you for a little bit. Yeah. So stay with us. Check it out here. If you see a good question, can I let me know? Okay. I attached the I attached the smartphone to the windshield with the suction cup. Ahead. So and I also taped down the mic, the um, lens, so it doesn't um, rattle like it did when we were with Mike and Peter last month. What car are you driving? Oh, he's a look at the samurai. Oh, he's, is he bowing at us? <laughs> Did you see him bow? Like he's holding his stick out there. Like that's gonna stop me. Well, it did, kind of. Look at the blue skies, it's beautiful here. Somebody know what car are you driving? That's a Toyota. It's it's like I think it's an Aqua or a Vitz. I'm not sure. Mm. Does it say? You can open in the glove compartment maybe. Let's see. He's got the the samurai stick. Yeah. Uh, Aqua. Aqua. Yeah. Yeah. It's an Aqua. Aqua. Toyota. A Q U A. So these these local construction sites, um, it's. Usually they'll have um have a drink on me when you get the last plate. Hey, it's Andrea. Andrea. Andrea Ryan, thanks. Thank you. Hopefully that's sometime soon. Do you have a favorite restaurant on this road? Is that Brandon? Brandon. <laughs> that's Brandon. I don't know. I've never yeah, we've never been sure. on this road. <laughs> Look at the motorcycler. All right, he's talking on the CB. I think all right, there's there's a couple more cars coming, then we're going to go. We're going to watch the samurai in action. Mm. If I do that, Kanai, you're going to... Me? You're going to be more in the picture. What? No. All right, okay. <laughs> he's giving us the all, all, all clear. Oh, it's dun, 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 big dun, dun, Matsumoto Kiyoshi. Do you think they have sick masks? Should we try and get some masks here? <laughs> no, we, we have it. Okay. Oh, that's right. Flor Florence gave us some from Singapore. Uh, it's Hoto restaurant. Hoto is 
very famous noodle at Yamanashi. It's like uh, udon. Oh, but really? It's uh, different. Okay. Yeah, more white. More white noodle. Wide like Kishimen? Oh, yeah, like Kishimen. Oh. Kofu, 56 kilometers. Otsuki, 17 kilometers. So we're really out there. This is like Chuo Line far out there kind of this actually you know where we're going the maglev um uh mag magnetic levitation shinkansen track test track is not too far away from where we're going thanks for to talk taking on taking us on your adventure today here's some gas money gas money oh that's nice <laughs> alex we're gonna hey alex <laughs> we're actually gonna we'll see if we can do another live stream from uh fuji uh fuji yoshida or lake kawaguchiko we'll check the signal and see um if there's another chance to bring you somewhere maybe even a, a restaurant or something <laughs> it's it's nice maybe. to share yeah it's nice to share the experience with with you guys i know a lot of you wanted to, a lot of you canceled and couldn't make it to japan you're with us in now in mm. Japan. You're here too, so ready for an adventure. It's a little bumpy. Just fasten your seat belts. <laughs> okay, so we're down in the valley. This is Route 20. 9.0 kilometers due to electrical work alternating traffic. Oh, you better stop. Oh, there's more electrical oh, work. It's funny that it knows that there's Drive electrical work the going on. For more than five kilometers. It'll tell you when there's traffic and... 9.0 kilometers due to electrical work alternating traffic. Right, that's like 10 kilometers away. Nine, nine kilometers, that's seven, eight, six, six and a half miles away. What's the Maghreb test truck? What's ma Maghreb? The Maglev is the mag Maghreb. Magnetic Maglev. Levitation Shinkansen. The Chuo Shinkansen. Oh. There's a test track that's not too far away from here. And, you know, I, I wanted to go there. The problem is that because of the situation, everything is closed, including all the amusement parks, Disney World, Disneyland here, and the magnetic levitation test track. So there's not a lot of stuff that we can do. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to rent a car. At least we're getting out and doing something and seeing something because I just cannot, I can't sit there in front of the computer and, and ride around the city all day. I, I need to get away. We're not going to be taking public transportation for a little bit. Uh, we've been riding our bicycles instead of the subway in, in the city because she told me to do that. Yeah. It's her fault. What? It's my fault? No, it, I mean, I don't know. You only need a lot of time. I, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, but it's safer. Yeah. Whoa, this is so semi. <laughs> this is Ots Otsuki, Otsuki City. City. Otsuki oh. City. Welcome to Otsuki City, everybody. We're just driving through Otsuki City. Otsuki means big moon. <laughs> o Otsuki, Otsuki show. Yes. Yeah. Well, this looks like a noodle place on straight ahead. Soba. Mm, soba. Place. Oh, it's a soba stand. Check that out. It has a, a drive in soba stand, but it looks like it's out of business. There's nothing inside. It's been torn. The inside of it has been torn, uh, torn out. A lot of these rest stops just—they uh, are only in business during the summer when the traffic is higher, and then in the winter they'll do re reconstruction or construction work because there's not a lot of foot traffic coming in. Is there snow outside? Mm, no. <laughs> I don't, yeah, there's no, no. S there's no snow at all anywhere. It's no. kind of crazy, right? Uh, maybe Hokkaido? Yeah, if you get up to maybe mm. parts of Aomori and north of Hakodate, up, up, up north of Sapporo. Yeah, we don't some... have a snow in Tokyo um, this year. It's been, it, it's been strangely warm, very mm. unusually warm the last, uh, this whole winter. And we've had a couple of patches where it was very cold, but for the most part, no snow in Tokyo. Maybe once there are some flurries, but nothing suck. Mm. 
Usually we have one snowstorm and the next day it melts away. Oh, somebody write in Japanese. Oh, because you're the one reading it. Kore de mask de mo katte kudasai datte. Lancham kochibi san. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, we should. I, because we're out here. Yeah. I think maybe we should check some of the. Please get mask. Yeah, check some of the stress <laughs> the mask. Thank you. I went out yesterday and.、Uh, There was a line 30 minutes before Matsumoto Kyoshi was opening to get masks in the neighborhood. 30 minutes before. And if you, if you see what they come out with, because I'm not waiting in line, sometimes people come out upset because there's no masks at all. So when they open, they, didn't, they didn't, can't buy anything because the store just didn't get any in. Mask a lot. Yeah, if, you,、uh, if look, if she has it, I'm gonna catch it. And if I,、mm. if I have it, she's gonna catch it. So that doesn't matter. So if、yeah. we're staying at home and just riding public,、uh, just riding our bicycles, the ultraviolet light will,、mm. will save us. So yeah, we put the mask on when we go to college area. Yeah. Or a train, but we don't use train anymore. The idea is not to touch your face,、mm. keep your hands on the steering wheel. You wanna sing a song, can I? <laughs> no, What it, I do Japanese sing in the car? Yeah. What do they sing?、Mm, I don't know. Many kinds. Really? I've been working on the railroad. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. <laughs> on that farm, he had a chicken sandwich. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, look at this bridge. It's pretty. Does that count as, as carpool karaoke then? No. I think no. Oh, you, you want to see the bridge? Nothing out here. There's a tunnel for the highway. The, actually, we're following the highway. I don't know why we had to get off the highway. How dare this navigation system throw us down here? I like to go 100 kilometers an hour, like really fast. Yeah, seriously, this is killing our arrival time, can I? Oh. We're 40 minutes later than what, what, we, what we had planned. Maybe we're gonna have to ride, get back onto the highway. Navi's fault? It's the nav. Yeah, it's totally the <laughs> navigation system's fault. Like, I'm okay spending, spending five or six dollars if it means saving an hour, right? I mean,、yeah. that's a no brainer. But it's a nice city. Yeah, but you don't have to drive all through these curves.、Mm. It's like work. Yeah, it's struggling to turn、oh. car into turn curve. Check it out. I have to do something to try to fix the. Oh, look at that. It's out of business. That drive in,、uh, drive in Fuji. So, this is the foothills of Mount Fuji, pretty much, where we are.、Uh, I can't see the peak of the mountain yet, but we're driving to the city of Fu-、uh, Fuji Yoshida for those of you that are joining us right now. It's supposed to take an hour and a half, but the navigation system threw us off the highway. Onto the low way, which is Route 20. We're in Otsuki City,、mm. and, and、uh, the signal's holding out.、Um, it seems to be holding up okay. But we are going at maybe a fraction of the speed that we'd be going on the highway. So now lunchtime has been pushed back from 12 o'clock to Whoa, 12 41.、Close. Yeah, so it's, we're 41, 40 minutes slower by taking this road. So we might have to jump onto the highway again. But if you're gonna be driving around Fuji, yeah, don't trust your navigation system. Go with the Google Maps. Or do both, actually. You know, you never know. It's、Google、good to have、Maps. both. Yeah, check out the Google Maps. See what, see what they're saying. But you can see Japan's roads are pretty nice. It's easy to drive, lots of space. Other drivers are. Fairly skilled because it takes forever to get a driver's license in Japan. 
Driving school cost Kanai about $3,000. And she's still scared to death to drive. <laughs> it was like Sanjumayan, right? Yes. Yeah, in Tokyo, it's even a little bit more expensive, but... Um, yeah, yeah, we have to go to school or uh, camping. Oh, you can do... You can go driving school camp. Yeah, but I... I, I to the driving school camp because I have a job. So the driving school camp is it? Do you, can you finish quicker? Hmm. Oto hayaku mm, I think three or four weeks. When it's about the you same. Go to, no, no, it's not the same. Oh, school it's is three to four weeks. Yeah, school is mm, two months. Two months, yeah. Mm. And the, and camp. Camp about. Three or four weeks. Hey, Megumi went to camp for three weeks? Yeah, she... Her she sister took, went to the camp. Yeah, she took four weeks. Is it like a party? Like people drinking no, and having... No, it's not... It's not a party. Well, what's the... Why no, would, she why said, did she said it was very hard. But why would... So you went camping... Mm. You, so you went to the driving school camp in the countryside, but it was still hard and you didn't have... She didn't have fun? No, she she doesn't drive now. She doesn't even drive. There's a sign that said Shizukani, meaning don't be quiet, don't honk your horn in this area. Yeah, because when you got the driving license in countryside, it's easy to drive. But when oh, you back to Tokyo, Shizukani, ni, Shizukani. Oh, <laughs> when you back to Tokyo, Tokyo is very very different to drive. So she got her license in Niigata, but she doesn't drive at all. So why did yeah. she get her license? <laughs> I don't it know. It was like Sanjumayan, right? Like $3,000. Yeah. So why why get a license if you're not going to drive? Mm, but she might drive again. Yeah, but that's scarier. She's really a beginner still. If you never use it, you Do lose it. Electrical mm. work, alternating yeah, but traffic. we call the... Uh, Torisawa ano, Station. Yeah, we call the people paper license. A paper driver. As a paper driver. Yeah. Mm. Paper driver. Yeah. I don't want to be a paper driver. I want to drive. There's 7-Eleven on the right side. Post office on the left. There's not a lot in this in this town. Mm. It's pretty chillax. Oh wow. So you can see um, when you're out here, you don't have anything to worry about. So all the panic and stuff is there's nothing. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, life is bad. life is normal. It's pretty normal. There's another um, Koji Samurai. Wow, look at that car! Wow, it's cool. It's like a four-wheeler. What? No, it's a three-wheeler. <laughs> He's got one wheel in the back. <laughs> Man, Japanese... You know, J J Japan is such a car culture, and you don't know it because if you're a tourist here, you take in the train and stuff, but really, you come outside, everybody's got a car. Because if you don't have one, you can't get around. The train stations are are there but they're very um very far away so we're waiting for the it's construction samurai it's about 35 minutes to get there oh, 35, 35 more minutes we don't need a, i want to take them into the service area on the highway we need highway we can take highway when you when we back okay we're taking the highway coming back mm. uh, but it, mm -hmm. so there's a is it highway mm, i don't know that doesn't look like that. Okay, so we're getting back on the highway at the Otsuki, in, uh, Otsuki Interchange. She doesn't... Listen to this. She didn't have Google Maps on her, on her cell phone. She was using Apple Maps. That's why we kept getting lost. <laughs> Nothing against Apple Maps except, like, everything. Google Maps is, like, so far superior. I think women is not good at the map. That's not true. <laughs> I know a lot of ladies that are better than, better than the, the guys. And uh, often... <laughs> Often when we get lost, it's the guy's fault. Somebody agree with me? <laughs> Nobody's gonna agree with you. <laughs> this is, and Google told me this is like International Women's Week or something. Mm. You should give give ladies give ladies power. I think you know what? Men don't like to ask for directions, mm. so when we do get lost, we never stop. Mm. We think we can work it out. Yeah, when I have a paper map, I do it like this, this, and this. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that if you have Google Maps. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Google Maps. Sounds like a commercial. Brought to you by Google Maps. 
Who do we got here? Okay. All right, traffic's moving. This is an EV car. It's like an electrical, it's like a hybrid. Better go, the guy, the samurai is waving us through. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your, for your service out here. He's got a mask on. Oh, so th the navigation system told me what they're doing. It's electrical work underneath the street. So when you know what they're doing, then you don't have to look and stare and get into an accident. A lot of accidents happen because everyone is so curious about what's happening. But, oh, this is the same, John. This navigation is the same as my Google Maps. Okay. So, so you can Google Maps has confirmed it there, then we're okay. If Google Maps has confirmed it, then I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah. But I've had navigation systems where they, the navigation system is lost or outdated. Mm. It was bad. I've had some arguments with the navigation system, and the navigation system just ignores you. It doesn't even respond. You can yell at it. I think a good navigation system should reply to your insults as well. So if you insult the navigation system, it should just shut off and short circuit. This is like reminds me of a scene from 2001 Space Odyssey where, where the navigation system computer uh, comes to life and protects the human from himself. <laughs> but I can see that the navigation system's got a got a uh, a mouth on it and a little cheeky. I would like a cheeky navigation system. Yemon tea. Oh yeah. Yemon green tea. Uh huh. My favorite. Curve ahead. What's that sign there? It's like, oh, don't throw, don't litter, and it there's a picture of a bottle hitting the head of a dog it says don't litter so i guess people were oh. throwing the cans from the highway above when when you get the mount fuji try the mount fuji melon pan and oh, yeah. hot steamed corn oishi michael oh I, I saw that before how about the oh sing take me home country road <laughs> <laughs> No, no, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, you need to monetize. <laughs> if you do it real bad, it works. West Virginia, da, 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 da. take me, uh, I can't say the words, so I'll get demonetized, blah, blah, blah. You know what, dude, they have a uh, melody road where uh, when you drive over, it mm. plays that song in Fukushima. So I'm going to go drive up there. Is it uh, Fukushima? I think so, I think oh. so. I got it. I sent them an email. They said they'll help me out if I go up there because you have to stop traffic or something in order to get that that shot. I, you know, because I've been doing the um, videos updates about the stuff going on. A lot of the videos have been getting like losing the the revenue from it so I don't want to get like if I could prevent it I probably will want to I still want to you know have income a little bit if I can oh. okay check out this town it's... what's this town called um... what did you do Kanai oh, I gotta push the button Saru-bashi. Saruhashi. 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 so we're driving Shin on route Saruhashi. 20 yeah, this is route 20 and we're driving through Saruhashi and there's an Enios and a traffic light. In fact, the traffic light is very big on the map because there isn't anything else out here. And then we're going to be going through Otsuki. Uh, do we get onto Otsuki interchange? What does Google Maps say? Google Maps say... Now I can't get the country road song out of my head. Otsuki bypass. Oh, Otsuki bypass. Oh, so we're not going on the interchange again. We're not going on the highway. The low way. Can you check? The wrong way. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting on the highway. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we get back on the highway at Otsuki. 
Yeah, we get back on the highway. That's just proof. You can't even see what I just put in front of you, but it's proof. So we're getting back on the. Yeah, we're getting back on the highway. Actually, I can use that sandwich again. I keep thinking about that that katsu. We got this katsu sandwich. It was in. It was one of the top items at the bakery. Okay. Check out the the small town we're going through. So that we went we went to the bakery and they recommend they always put like what are the top five items at the bakery and they gave us uh, we we picked the top three. So this one of them Kanai ate was the yakisoba pan, which is a, a black yakisoba pan. Mm. They put noodles and bread and Kanai scarfed that down in like five seconds. And then we had a a melon pan with cream inside of it. They cut open the metal pan and they put like cream in the middle of it with custard sometimes. Oh, it's so good. And then we got a um, sandwich that looked like a steamed bun and in the middle of it, it's been sliced and they, they chucked, they chucked in a sloppy katsu. Yeah, like a breaded pork cutlet drenched in, in this tangy sauce and they just chucked it into this steamed bun. Oh my gosh. And it's sitting in the back seat and it's probably getting hot naturally from the sun. And that means my lunch is going to be warmed up, and that's a good thing. Because Kanai already had her lunch. I didn't have it. But we're probably going to keep eating because that's what you do when you go on these road trips. You eat and eat and eat. And there's a lot of road stop stands. Sometimes on the navigation system, you can search them out. If, if I knew it was going to be on Route 20, I probably would have found a restaurant. And uh, a, a famous restaurant to go and, and try. But mm-hmm. you don't have to stop at the famous ones. You'll find... Uh-huh. Yeah, be careful of the bicycle right you, you, you can find them at just stop anywhere and you help out local businesses. I'm, I'm a big firm believer that the chains are nice and all that, but yeah, it's good to help out the entrepreneurs, people who have ideas and family run businesses and see how they're doing and try to eat their food because it's probably healthier. Oh, could, could this live video be the beginning of... um? Awesome travel. Oh, it's going. Oh, I went back. Oh. <laughs> Can I so focused on it? On this travel seats for you too. I would totally watch every video. Really? Blo- Blo- Professor. Oh, is that Del. Professor Dell? Professor Dell's in the house. Del. Oh, stop. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Stop the traffic. The professor's here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. All I saw was like this red thing flashed on the screen. I thought it was a stoplight. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, when I did this, and we had the problem with the microphone rattling, and I hope it's doing okay. Um, Peter, me, and Mike Chen were driving to Costco and on the way as well. Uh, we were back in Tokyo before we knew it. But it was so much fun just to listen to the banter. So Peter wants to... We wants to rent a car and then we'll go on on a road trip but so do some of my other friends um, I'm meeting another youtuber I hate to give out people's names and stuff I think maybe some of you might know who I'm talking about but we've been we've been thinking about uh, renting a camper van and then going cross-country in the camper van um, and doing and, and showing another side of Japan through this would be totally awesome right That's a nice idea yeah and the banter just that that you have while you're driving is so much fun because things when you're driving your mind goes kind of free and you're you're focused on the road but you also need to need to talk to stay awake i think this traffic is good for you to drive kanai because you it's not this traffic is easy to really yeah i think yeah at fuji yoshida let's get the the beginner's stickers and you can oh yeah there's a sign for fuji yoshida it doesn't say how many kilometers it is. 20? Uh, no, that's Route 20. Oh. That's not 20 kilometers, it's Route 20. <laughs> You're such a beginner. Look at the Volkswagen in front of us. Yeah, I hope the signal's good because it's, um, uh, we're like deep countryside. <laughs> like it, oh no, the, could I, there's a tunnel. I see there's a tunnel up ahead. Oh my gosh. All right, okay. All right. If we lose signal for for the one thousand one hundred people or so watching, we'll be back. I'm not sure. I'm just like whenever before I go in the tunnel, I just say I just say. It seems wrong. 
Yeah, this is like it looks like a long one. I just got a feeling this one might last forever. Country road, take us through the tunnel and then let us have a signal. 4G LTE, 720p. Are we back? We just exited the tunnel. There's a short one. Yeah, a short one. Showing. We are back. We're back. Remember the speed limited limit is only suggestion can I <laughs> drive fast and take channels. Who is that? Thanks for the everything, JNK Master. Oh, it's Matthew. Don't, Matthew, don't <laughs> encourage her. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at the scenery. It's beautiful here. Yeah, kind of, if you hold it here, it won't shake so much. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's better for... Look at the beautiful uh, purple mountains in the distance. Left. Going to Tsuru. Oh, I was I lectured at Tsuru University about uh, ten years ago, and he was a professor at Tsuru University, and he asked me to come out and, and lecture to his students about um, video oh, video right. making. This is before YouTube, because oh. damn it. Drive along the road for more than five kilometers. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's like patches. Imagine if your house was here and there was no signal. Just they didn't, they just decided that we, were, we weren't going to put the signal where your house is. That, that would be awful. Living out in the countryside and don't come out. That's what this, this, there's the office for my, uh, they better have a signal here. Dokubo's supposed to have the strongest 4G signal. It's like the Verizon of, of Japan. And sometimes we're finding out where the dead patches are. So this is a little town. This is uh, Otsuki, right? Yes. And um, apparently we're getting back. Why are we, can I, why are we getting back on the bypass? Hey, this is a big deal. How come we're not getting back on the bypass? The time, the dust, it took us off of the highway. Uh oh. Deep. We're in deep duty now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We can follow this street. Just keep going up country road. Yeah. Then next interchange. Tsuru interchange. Coming after Yoka Ichiban. Really? Okay. I guess yeah. you guys are stuck with Country Road. Hey, there's a big boy! Look up there, that red sign, do you see it? The big, it? there's a Bob's Big Boy. What? What is that? Why is that here? 
please focus on the load. I'm focusing on the big boy and the, the okay, it's gone. I, I can't see the big boy. I was focusing on the road too. Okay. That sign was there for a purpose. I'm a big boy, don't worry. That was a Bob's big boy, what? I wonder what the f menu's like. Do they have the same stuff? It seems like... This is the middle of nowhere and they have a time. big boy restaurant. It's awesome. Okay, I, we're not coming back this way. We're going around Mount Fuji. So I'll never see that big boy again. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the website and see what they have on their menu. Oh, I didn't know that there were. I, I, uh, this is Tano Kuda Station, Tano Kuda Train Station. T A N O K U R O Station. It's this is a small country area that we just passed it about 300 meters back there now. Mm. Here's a Lawson's. So if you guys have the Google Maps, we're on Route 20. You could probably find us. Is this still Route 20? and track us by where we're going, how slow we're going, and how much further we have to go. Yeah, just follow the street. Follow the country road. Seems to go nowhere, and yet everywhere. Ah, Tsuru, Michi no Eki Tsuru. Yeah, I wonder what Tsuru Daigaku is. Tsuru, tsuru Daigaku, I spent, uh, spent a full day there, of my full life. Full day? Full day. <laughs> 24 hours. Uh, is it junior? Uh, daigaku? University? Yeah, daigaku. Uh, yeah, I had blonde hair. That was during my midlife crisis. <laughs> I, blonde, I bleached my hair blonde. Oh my god. I was wearing a suit. I looked like a surfer in a suit. Wow, this road is bumpy. So this is down, downtown Tsuru. <laughs> this is Tsuru, 0.5 kilometers. There's the sign. I can go straight. Look, there's a farmer yeah. off of the main road here on the left side. It's crazy. No, is it cabbage? Oh, he's, he's farming cabbage? How much are they? Maybe he'll sell one right here. Cabbage. Oh, there's to the station over there, I think. But I think that would be the ideal situation to try to get um, uh, a camper van or something. Go out with a buddy of mine. Maybe can I can be in the back if she wants. She could sit in the pilot seat. No, she could drive. <laughs> what is that there? Is that the highway? Look at that too. No, is that the test track? Could I, that's a test track. What? That's a Yamagata test track. No, the um, Yamanashi uh, Maglev test track above us. Do you see that? Oh, wow. Isn't it? Chigao? I don't know. I have no idea. That's the Maglev, the Super Shinkansen. That's oh. got to be. We're underneath it. Oh, that's awesome. I feel the power, although it's not even there. I can feel it was there. The power was there. Like kryptonite leaves a trail. Yeah, it's closed though. The, mag the magnetic levitation train, the, the Shinkansen that goes 500 kilometers an hour, like like 400 miles an hour. That's the test track, I, be I believe. It's closed right now. Really? Was that the was that the test track? Somebody said yes. Somebody said yes. Yes, that means it was. <laughs> if the internet, if someone on the internet said it, it's true. It's true. All right, guys, we we got a full day ahead of us. We're gonna be doing another live stream. Don't worry about it. We're we're gonna be around for a while. Um, if you, if you want us to continue, let's see if we can get to like 700 likes. I always like to keep our audience hostage, but we're getting close to an hour if we passed it maybe. And that was that was longer than I thought we were gonna go, <laughs> like by far. So let's see if we can get to hit click the like button. See if we can get get uh, get another five minutes added on here if you want us to take you through here. We turn lights soon. 
Oh, we turn right soon? Okay. Mm, actually, it's not soon, but we turn right. <laughs> um, now it says here, Kase Station. Kase Station. Kase Station. That's mm. the sign up there. So you, we're on Route 139. It's bumpy. Hey, there's Fujinomiya, 71 kilometers. Fuji Yoshida, 16 kilometers. Fuji Yoshida, 16 kilometers. So we should be there in about 20 minutes or so at this pace. The Google Navi told me it's 20 minutes. From here? Mm -hmm. All right, good. You know, there's a famous, one of the most famous Instagram scenes is the pagoda with Mount Fuji in the background. Have you seen that one? Everybody takes a picture of it. You see it on like every guidebook. There's the pagoda on the right side and the, and the Mount Fuji, this beautiful panoramic view of the volcano, Mount Fuji. And um, I thought it, this is in Fuji Yoshida. So I thought I would stop there and, and scout it out because I've never been there. I've never been there. So if it seems like a really cool place, you have to climb about 200 steps to get up to the top of it. Maybe I'll go live and bring you there. Um, that sort of was the plan. All right, so we got this 775 likes. So that means we got to get to 1,000. And we rarely get to 1,000 likes in a live stream. It just never it like happened like two times in the history of life of the live streaming platform. It just never happens. It's ha well, it almost never happens. That's a, is that a McDonald's? Why well, am I getting excited? I'm not going to go there, but it's funny that there's a McDonald's out here the sensor tells you if you go outside the lines that is a golden arches up up straight ahead that is my country America yeah. is right straight ahead that's like the embassy of America they should have embassy oh, services we turn there light soon. oh we turn right soon that's McDonald's we turn light really soon we turn light next It's a drive through Kanai. You sure you don't want something? No? Look at that's the Golden Arches. What? It's actually you passed. drive through it says. That's what the writing is underneath the sign. Hey. drive through. Oh, so it says here to turn? And it will, I'll get on the interchange? So we go to... Yeah, this way. Okay. I, not so, the McDonald's way. Not the McDonald's way? Yeah. So we can get through. Okay, we're going to take the interchange. All right, sorry, McDonald's. <laughs> we don't go. We don't go to you. Okay. Instead. Okay, don't go to McDonald's way. Don't go follow the, the beige car. That's not the best color for a car either, just saying. If I had a choice, that would be not in my top Which color ever. do you like? That, actually, the blue car is kind of neat mm. here. See that one? That car in front of us, it's like a like a pale... I don't know. It's just not pretty. Yeah. So the navigation system says go straight. Kanai is telling me to go this way. Yeah, you know who I'm going to... You know who I'm going to trust, right? Yeah, you can trust. Kanai? Mm -hmm. Try trust <laughs> Uman. No, but you said like 45 minutes ago that you're always lost hey. and you hold the map funny. I know. Wait, I'm 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 thinking maybe I made a wrong decision here. I will we'll go with Kanai's route, and then if if it's if she made a mistake, then it's her fault. That's it's not my fault anymore. Turn left. We but we both lose because then we're just gonna get there later. Okay, where do I go next? Go straight. Turn right at Kotobukicho Crossing Street. Oh, but where you hold on a second. Where's your navigation system uh, set to? To the pagoda? Or just Fuji Yoshida? Fuji Yoshida City. In 700 meters, turn left. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull over. Just <laughs> check where you're. I'm just gonna pull over here. And just kind of do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
let's check. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We're so close. All right, let's take the highway because it's a highway. But it's not pagoda sport. That's okay. I just, I don't know where it is. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do this. Country road. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. He looked like a Fuji, Fuji Yoshida guy. Very nice, friendly. No profanities. Didn't make any arm gestures or, or finger gestures at me. You tell light, sir. Okay. You, I'm following you now. You tell me. Hey, Daddy or Migi? Migi. Migi? Migi is right. Hidari is left. left. Migi is right. Hidari is left. That's your quiz. Hey, Hidari you can turn left. Light at, at the traffic light. Oh, can I? There's Daiso. Should I go and get your stickers for the um? In 300 no, not. Oh, let's get your. Yeah, you can get your um. What? Be careful. This is Daiso. Then you can get your your stickers. Look at that. There's a Daiso here. What? Why? Okay. Thus ends the live stream. <laughs> this is the first. This is the end of the first live stream. So we're gonna do more today. Um, we're gonna get the Fuji Yoshida. Um, probably eat lunch and find a place to to eat, and then we're gonna take you around. Maybe if, the, if we find something interesting, we're gonna go live again, and then we're coming back at 7 p.m. So we got a, a very full day. Thanks for joining us in this. We're don't worry, we'll be back. Um, make sure you subscribe, and I'll put a uh, notification on um, uh, Patreon and the Discord server and maybe even Twitter, and then you guys can join us again soon. All right, see you guys. See you soon.